2025 is almost here and AI is revolutionizing the way that we're interacting with our customers and the way their business is being conducted. Imagine having a smart, efficient assistant that handles your calls, qualifies leads and books appointments all seamlessly in the background day to day without you having to do a single thing. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can set up your own AI powered calling agent incredibly quickly. And guess what? No technical skills are required in this. We're all going to be using simple tools. We're going to be using make.com, Airtable, and Synflow today. Whether you're running a company, a small or a large enterprise, or just want to elevate your customer service or drive more growth through new leads coming into your business and qualifying them quickly and easily, well, that's what we're gonna run through today. So let's jump straight in. So as you can see here, we've got the end-to-end -end flow that we're gonna be building out today. So again, as mentioned, we're gonna be using Airtable as our mock CRM, but again, you'd be able to use your own one that you would be using, Salesforce, Pipedrive, Meg.com has got lots of integrations that you can use, or if you're using something like Typeform, maybe to get the inputs into this process, you'd be able to use that as well and then go through and actually use it. So let's go through step by step and get it all up and running. If you want to get access to this, you can actually come through and import the blueprint, all of the resources in the link below, so you can get this up and running nice and easy without the technical heading. All of this will be ready to go straight away. So what we want to be doing is setting up our Airtable first. So we want to come into Airtable and we want to create a new table. Now I've already generated one, again, links in the below if you want to get access to it. But what you'll be able to do is you want one around first name, area of interest, phone number, country, contacted, created, and last modified. Now to add fields like this, all you need to do is come to the end here, do add field, and then we could do last modified part two. So again, just it needs to be a unique title, and then we can come through and do last modified time. Now there's lots and lots of different formats that you can use in here. So as we can see, we've got long text, short text, attachments, we've got multi-select, single select, URLs, numbers, currency. So lots of information here that we can use, but we're gonna be running through a simple demo today on voice AI and setting up an outbound agent. So let's run through what we've got here. The key things to note again, phone number, we've got it as a phone number field. In these ones here, we've got country as single select, so they can only select one option. And again, contacted, we've only got single select here because it's one contact that we can add in. Once we got the structure of the information in here, now we need to be able to capture it. Now, a great thing about Airtable is actually you can set up some forms. So if we go in here, what you'll be able to do is add a new form. So you would just call it mortgages e-form and then you'll be able to come through and add all of the information in here so as we can see we would have the first name area of interest phone number we would want to get rid of this last one here contacted because they don't need to see that but we've already got this set up and ready to go in the other form that we've got in here which is interest so if we come back into here what we can see is we got again that first name short text field we've also said it's required so we make sure that we capture their first name We've got the area of interest, so maybe London, Newcastle, Berlin, Barcelona, New York, wherever it may be. We've got their phone number. Again, we need to make sure that we capture that as well. We've got the country, so again, all of these fields being required. And what we want to do is publish this form. And then if we share it, what we'll be able to see is the front end. And it will look something like this. So again, they're able to have the drop down here. They can select one of the options and they're able to submit the information. Now, what we'll go through is actually go through and add one of the fields so that we're able to use that. So let's come through to the link. We'll do Alex, we'll do leads, we'll do a phone number. And then we'll say, again, it's in the United Kingdom and we'll do submit. So what this will do is it will add it to our Airtable data. And if we come back into data into here, we can see that we've got that new lead here, which is Alex in Leeds, their phone number, where they are. It's automatically defaulting to new contacts because we haven't reached out to them yet. And it's got the date and time that it was created as well as last modified. Now we need both of these because we're going to be doing some automations with it. And we actually need to be able to see when it was created to trigger the action that we're going to be using. So if we come into make.com, this is the automation platform that we're going to be using. And we're going to be using a few different steps in here. So the first one, we're going to be using Airtable. So to ever find it, you'll come down to the bottom. You'll do plus. We're looking for Airtable. So you want to type it. And then we're going to be doing what record. So again, as you can see at the bottom here, return or newly created or updated record. So if we come into our air table that we've already got set up, we need to make sure that we're adding the table that we've just created. So to do that, you want to come across that add. You want to do connection as a air table OAuth. You do save. What will happen is it will load up our screen here to add a base. You just want to add the base, grant access, and it will take you automatically back into made.com. We're not going to do that because we're already set up and ready to go. So 
what's the information we're going to be using? Well, we're going to be using the base of the mortgages AI phone agent we've just set up. We're going to be using the CRM table, which is our main table that you can see in here. We're going to be using created as the trigger field. So when something is created, it's automatically going to start this process. And we're going to capture the last or latest 10 that have been generated. Now, to make sure that we're only capturing and engaging the ones that we haven't contacted before, we need to set up a filter. What we want to do is run this module. As you can see here, it's captured all the new information and then we want to go through and set up the filter so you want to do set up a filter and then we want to do new contact as maybe the name condition all you want to do is get rid of this come to the right hand side and then you want to do con contacted question mark so you can see on the far left hand side it's starting to pulse that means it's actually using the information from that specific module we'll do okay and now what we need to do is start processing some of that data so as you can see here we got the region code adjuster this is just going to be taking the information ingesting it from what we've captured in Airtable and making sure that we can dial out to that number using Synthflow. so as you can see here we've got a priming prompt so what we're saying is that we're going to be re formatting the phone number and replacing it with their regional fix so that we can actually dial out to them. We've got a few instructions here. A really key one at the end here is just to make sure that they're only outputting the formatted phone number. There's no additional details. That's really key. And then we've got the second part here, which is region, current phone number and country. So again, what we want to do here is make sure that's user. We've come across to region and then we do country and we come across the phone number and we add phone number. Now that's all good to go. At the bottom here, you'll see completion tokens. Again, remembering that around 100 tokens is around 75 words. You can leave that as standard if you want, or you can decrease that. Remember, higher the tokens, higher the cost that's going to be for that API call and the module that we're using is create completion again to find that you would come through to add you do open AI you would come down to create completion and click on that and it'll take you through to the screen that we've just seen or alternatively if you've already set it up as an agent in the open AI playground you can go through and just add it that way instead brilliant so that's all good to go now what we need to do is trigger our Synflow account and actually make that integration so that it'll do that phone call so as you can see here we've already added our connection to do that again you would just do add and then you need to add your API key that's in Synflow in here so it's nice and easy and ready to go. We need to update and make sure that we're using the correct model. We're going to touch on that in a minute. So we'll do update. We're going to be using the result phone number. So that's the phone number from the last module. So as you can see here, we just come across and we click on result that's pulsing. We're going to be using their first name. So that's all set up and ready to go. But again, if you were to delete that, you would just come through and do first name. And then at the bottom here, we've got a custom greeting. So what we're doing is making it dynamic. So it will say, hi, the first name of that person that submitted a form. This is Emma from Top Mortgages AI. I'm the AI qualifying agent. You just submitted a form showing interest in their particular area. So again, personalizing and reiterating where they've just done their work. Do you mind if I ask you a few quick questions and going through? through to get some quotes on the spot again this is just an introduction that you'll be able to do and then at the end we're going to go through and just update our air table using an update a record module we're going to use the id from earlier on so come to the right hand side you want to do id so as you can see on the far left it's starting to pulse we want to be updating that id and we're just going to change it here from new contact to contacted so we can add that in there and what that means is once we completed the phone number we've dialed out will update it to say that it's been contacted and we won't reach out to them straight away because again if you've got it in the bottom right hand side here maybe you run it immediately the minute a form is submitted or once a day once an hour whatever it may be it'll only be contacting the new people that have submitted the lead it won't go back through the heat the other individuals but again you could set up your own ai agent to do that instead maybe follow up with them after a week if you've heard nothing and try and increase your conversion rates that way brilliant so that's all set up from this side from mig.com we now need to go through and get one of our synflow information so you want to log in synflow in the top right hand side you want to do create an assistant we're going to do browse templates now again remember we mentioned we're going to be doing a mortgages example today as you can see here they've got a few different examples you've got some insurance hospitality mortgages car dealership recruitment we've got healthcare we've got real estate but we're going to be doing mortgages today and we're going to be using this first one here so if we come into view details we'll be able to see that it's emma ai representative from southwest mortgages corporation she's going to be contacting clients that have previously shown an interest in a mortgage conversational style nice and friendly nice and easy you'll be able to give it a try if you wanted to and you can also give it a listen as well but we're going to do create an assistant and it'll open up this screen here so if we come out to our dashboards there'll be nothing in here at the moment because we've not activated it we can do configure so this is where you can customize it a bit more 
So you could do the name as mortgages. These qualify if you wanted to, so you know each one that you're working with. They've got the different voice engines that are going to be sitting behind it, the AI model. So you've actually got three options here. You've got one from Synflow, you've got GBT40, you've got O1 Mini that you can use. GBT40 is their recommended one at the moment, but whatever the latest version in, you'll automatically be able to use that. We can say the time zone that the agent's going to be working in. So in this case, we'll update it to be in the UK. There we go, we're updated. You can add a knowledge base. So this is where you can add files if you want it to. This means that the agent will refer back to it when it's having that conversation. Maybe you've got an FAQ document, as in frequently asked questions. Maybe you've got some sales information. You can add that in there. The only thing to know with that is I'd say if it's really critical information, add it directly into your prompt because it performs much better than trying to refer back to the knowledge base. You can add some business terms if you want to increase the accuracy. You can add some filter words. Maybe you don't want them to speak out. So again, you can fully adjust it. If we come in some other settings, you can do patience levels. So this is more around the voice. You can do stability. You can do style exaggeration. So how close it will follow the original voice that it's going to be using. We've got the exaggeration. So again, how much it will go vary in its conversation, how similar it will be to the original voice. We've got the latency. So again, we want to be providing that best response possible. What we found in research is that humans normally take between 600 milliseconds to a second to understand what's being said and then provide a response. And we want this agent to be as close to that time period as possible. If we come back up to the top, you can also change the voice. So in this case, we're going to be using Natasha, a valley girl. Let's give it a quick listen. Hi, is this lead underscore name? Brilliant. So you can use that. You can also go through and change it. So if maybe you want to edit the voice, they're going to be using 11 labs at the moment, but you can actually go through and adjust it to, you know, that specific one that you would want to use or use your own voice if you wanted to. Lots of options here. You can import them as well. And you can do some advanced settings here. So again, if you want to use a different model that sits behind it, you can use 2.5 turbo. You can do two. We're using two at the moment just for this quick demo to show you how it works. Call configuration. So again, pause before speaking. So how long before they'll start speaking once the call is answered. The idle duration. So if nothing is said after 15 seconds it would disconnect automatically you've got the voicemail detection so if it realizes that it's not gone through to a person it will be able to just leave a message we've got the idle reminders so if nothing said after eight seconds in this case it will say this phrase here we can speaker boost so this is just where your likeness to the original speaker can actually be improved. We can limit the call duration. So if we say that we don't want it to be after 20 minutes, we will actually close the call. You can turn that on. You can record the conversation. You need, you can transcribe the conversation and you can set low risk Twilio permissions. So again, a few different options here that you're able to use. Now we're not gonna go and change the prompt today, but this is where you can if you want to, because we've used the template, it's automatically generated the agent called Emma and they're working for that corporation. But again, if you wanted to go through and change that, that'd be nice and easy to do. I would copy this, put in something like ChatGPT, Claude or Gemini and just ask it to update it with your specific information and it will go through and update it and give it back to you for you to paste in here. Lots of information in here. We're not going to go through it. It's bog standard prompt they've got in here if they want to be able to use it. Next, we're going to run through the action. So if you wanted to do something before the call, you can do that. During the call, we can add something. So maybe we want it to be able to book an appointment. You'd be able to come in here. Now, to connect this, what you need to do is create an action and you can either connect your cow.com account or your go high level and then it will be able to tie it in with that specific event. We're going to tie it in with one that's already created and this is just have a booking that's already set up. Also, after the phone call, maybe you want to capture some information. You can do information extractors. This is maybe where you want to capture some of the names, phone numbers. We'll click in here, as you can see on the left hand side. Name, phone number, email address, company, outcome, transferred, call reason. So lots and lots of unique elements you can include there as well. Now, to get it working, this is where we're going to come to you to deployment. Now, you need to make sure that you have at least the starter account, which I think is about $30 a month with Synflow, to be able to use this. And we're going to be using some key information in here. So we want to be tying in our phone number. So again, if you've got Twilio, you want to come to the left hand side here. You want to do integrations. You'll see Twilio. And then what you want to do is come through and add your SSID and your authentication token. If you don't have a phone number already, you can come into phone numbers, buy a phone number from Synthflow and it will all be up and running for you. They're normally about $1.5 to $2 a month, depending on the number you go with. But let's go back into the assistance and get it all up and running. So we're going to come a bit further down back to deployment and we're going to choose our phone number. Now I've already 
got Twilio set up, so I'm going to use my Twilio number. And then the only thing we also need to do is add our webhook in here. Again, we're not going to be going through the details of what and how the web webhook works and what information you can use with it. We're just going to put a standard one in there just so we can get it up and running. So we'll come into our made.com, we'll add a new scenario, and we'll come down to webhooks. So again, type in webhooks if you can't find it. We'll do custom webhook. I've already got one set up, so I'm going to select that. We'll copy the clipboard to the address. We'll redetermine the data structure because we need to make sure that it knows where it's going. We'll come back into webhook. We'll do paste. And then we click initialize and it will get get it all up and running. So now it's all good to go. And you should come back into made.com and see successfully deterred. Now we're going to get rid of that for now because we're not going to be using that today. Now to make sure that this all works in the automated way that we've just seen, we need to come through and share the assistant ID into our Synthflow agent. So if we come in here, we need to update where it says model because that's going to be the assistant that we've just been working with. We can do OK and then we'll be able to trigger it and give it a test. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back up to our mortgages air table and we're going to be submitting a form. So in this case, we'll put a few details. We'll do London. We'll put our phone number in. We'll just say that the country is the United Kingdom for now, just so we can get the area code ready to go. We'll also make sure that this is ready to go and turned on. So we'll do submit. That should then store the data. So that's all good to go. We come into our air table and there we go. We can see the new row has come in. So that's all good to go. If we come back into our make.com scenario we can do run once and then this should find the new contact it should adjust the region as we can see here to the requires one and then we should be submitting the phone call to go through through synthflow so there we go it's gone off we've also got the update in the back browser air tables there we go we can see the phone coming through hi alex this is emma from top mortgages i am the ai qualifying agent you just submitted a form that showed you're interested in London. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions to get some key details for our mortgages department to start getting some quotes? Yep, sure, that's fine. Great. Just to confirm, are you still looking to secure a mortgage for a new home purchase? I am indeed. Awesome. Could you tell me where you are in the home buying process? Are you looking at listings under contract or maybe have an offer pending? I'm um, just looking at listings at the moment. Got it. And when are you hoping to secure your mortgage? Within the next few months or a bit further out? Well, within the next few months. Perfect. Do you have a target mortgage amount in mind? Not at the moment. No worries at all. We can help narrow it down when you connect with our specialist. Do you happen to know your credit score? Or could you give an estimate? I... Help us get it. It's up the top end. It's one of the higher scores. That's great to hear. And what's your approximate annual income? This just helps us recommend the right financing options for you. Uh, I won't share that at stage. I'll, stare, I'll share it with one of your colleagues. Totally understand. We can definitely discuss that in more detail with a specialist. Could I grab your zip code for our record? Uh, yep, yeah, sure. Is SW11AA. Thanks for that. And what's the best email to send additional info if needed? Uh, hey, don't worry, we can do it over the phone. All right, no problem. Just so you know, at Southwest Mortgage, we work with a wide network of lenders to find competitive rates and flexible options that fit each client's situation. Would you be open to scheduling a call with one of our mortgage specialists to discuss tailored options? Yep. Yes. Great. Great. What time zone are you in so I can match up the best available slots for you? I'm based in London, so it need to be Europe or the UK. Got it. You're in the UK time zone. I have an opening for a call at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. your time. Would either of those work for you? Yeah, sure. Could we do the 2 p.m., please? Absolutely. You're set for 2 p.m. You'll get a calendar invite shortly. Please accept it so we know you got it. Anything else I can help with? No, that's all. Thank you. This has been a really useful demo. You're welcome. I'm glad to hear that. Have a great day, and we'll talk soon. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye-bye. Great. So there we go all up and working, all working seamlessly so you can automatically outreach clients or potential leads straight away the minute they submit a form. Higher rate of conversion is highly likely using something like this. And we've seen that with some of the clients we're working with. Now, again, this is all done automatically for you so you can focus on maybe the strategy and working on the business versus the day-to-day -day of in the business. All the resources are in the link below. Have a great day.